Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode of the Apple Tutor. Today, we'll be looking at a new method for installing Android in OS X. We can easily set up an installation of Android on a virtual machine through many different types of virtualization software. We'll be using VirtualBox as it's free and very easy to use. And many of you who've watched my other installation guides would know that I'm quite a big fan of VirtualBox. To get started, we'll need a couple of things. Firstly, we need a copy of VirtualBox, which you can download from the link in the description. Simply download the VirtualBox 4.3.14 for OS X hosts. Secondly, we need an actual Android ISO, which will also be available in the description. Choose the latest version of Android from the website, and at the time of this video, it's version 4.4, right over here. So once we have both VirtualBox and the Android ISO downloaded, go ahead and head over to VirtualBox. Creating a virtual machine in VirtualBox is really simple. Just simply click on the New button and name your virtual machine. I'm going to name it Android. Leave this option as Other and the same one as Other slash Unknown. And go ahead and click on Continue. We now need to allocate some memory. I'd ideally suggest around 2 gigabytes, so that's 20, 2048 megabytes. Over here, we'll simply create a virtual hard disk now. And we'll simply select the first option, which is VirtualBox Disk Image, VDI. Go ahead and click on Fix Size and click on Continue. And this is where we need to decide how big we need our virtual hard disk to be. This really is up to you, but uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I will get this to 6 gigabytes. So once we have our virtual machine ready, we'll just go ahead and click on the Start button. Now on the bottom right-hand corner of this window, we'll see a yellow folder button. Just go ahead and click on that. And navigate to your Android ISO file you downloaded earlier. Now go ahead and click on Start, and the virtual machine will now boot into Android's installer. Now go ahead and select the Install Android x86 to hard disk option. Just, just use your arrow keys and navigate uh, in this installer. Go ahead and click on Enter. Now from here we need to go ahead and click on Create slash Modify Partitions. Over here we need to go ahead and hit the New button because we want to make a new partition and just hit the enter key twice to make it a primary partition. Now go ahead and select on the right button. Now it will prompt us asking are you sure you want to write the partition table to disk? Just type in yes and hit enter. Now you may notice that the installation will fail but don't worry this is part of the process. Now just use the arrow keys to navigate to the quit button. Hit enter. And now you'll be redirected to this same window you've seen earlier, the window where you can create and modify partitions and choose partitions. Now just select the first option. Over here it will be brought up with a number of format types. Just go down and hit the ext3 option and press return key. And just hit yes and you'll notice it will be formatting the partition. Now it will ask us, do you want to install bootloader grub? Just hit yes. And hit yes once again. Now once this process is complete, you will be presented with the final window of the Android installer. Um, and we simply want to go ahead and hit reboot. Now once this restarts, we'll just exit out of the virtual machine, just power it off. Now navigate to your virtual machine in the window and click on settings. Now go into the storage tab and select the Android ISO option. Go ahead and click on the small CD icon over here and click on remove disk from virtual drive. Go ahead and click on OK and start the virtual machine once again. Now 
and we are now slowly booting into Android. This is definitely the most exciting part of this entire process. Alright, so we're now officially into the Android uh, setup. Just go ahead and just follow the instructions. Now, it'll give you a message here. Uh, just go ahead and click on Capture, don't worry about that. And um, the process from here is fairly straightforward until you actually get in and boot into Android where you can have a play around. We'll just skip this. Skip anyway, don't worry about that. Um, you can go ahead and enter this if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip this. Not now. Okay. Go ahead and click on more things somewhere here. We're officially into the Android interface, and you can go ahead and have a play around. And yeah, there we go. We have Android on our Mac running in a virtual machine. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go ahead and like this video if it really helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, uh, as always, if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave them below. So that's it for today. I hope to see you guys for the next episode of the Apple Tutor. Cheers.